Well, good morning. We're out, out, out for the weekend with Big Daz, Ginge, and Mr. Optical Creator. Uh, arrived at uh, pretty much near Malam Cove, and uh, we're gonna we're walking down this way towards the top of Gordel Scar, I believe. Somewhere I've never been. Um, somewhere, believe it or not, Ginger's never been to either. So yeah, this is new for all of us. But as I say, we're here all weekend, camping out. The weather was supposed to be pretty horrible. And to be honest, driving up here from Nuneaton, it was pretty horrible. But here, it's actually quite nice. Uh, so yeah, come on, on and let's see what we find. Right, so we've pretty much reached the top of uh, Gordale Scar here. I don't know if you can see that down there. It's in proper flow. There's been obviously some serious downpours here. But what a beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. I think, uh, yeah, we'll have to get the drone out at some point, but uh, we're just walking down here towards this lone tree. And uh, yeah, see what we find. But uh, wow, what a place. All right, so I've just come down here and uh, the top of Gordale Scar, or G G Gordale Beck is down there. <sighs> it probably doesn't look it on the camera, but that is very, very steep and it's all just scree. And uh, yeah, if I, uh, if I go down there and slip, I ain't going to stop. And I'm not the most steady person on my feet either. Um, Daniel's what, optical creator, he was umming and ahhing whether to go. Um, I think he's finally given in. And obviously, Daz and uh, Ginger Catchers are down there. I don't know. I just don't know. Should I give it a go? I suppose if I take my time really carefully, it's just starting to rain as well. Um, I might put this camera in the bag so I've got both hands free. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll put you away in the bag and uh, put my big boy pants on and uh, made my way down from up there. And I'm glad I did, because that waterfall is something else. Just look at that, absolutely raging. Um, so, I'm gonna get my breath, breath back, stay here for five, five or so minutes, just relax, then get my camera out and try and find some compositions. So it's a bit of a pig to get down here, but I was just saying to Big Daz here, wow, it's worth it. Probably one of the best waterfalls I think I've ever seen. I just love the uniqueness of that cove that the water's coming through. There's no sky in the image at all. I found up the composition here. I think I might have stolen the um, ginger captures. Sorry. <laughs> but um, he's shooting on a wide angle lens, but I don't, I've only got 24 to 105 with me. So what I've opted to do is actually put it in a, 
landscape mode and do a pano sweeping from the top down to the bottom here. There's a lovely sweeping from the right hand side up to the top of the waterfall there. I think it's going to work out to be a really nice image. Just experimenting with different um, uh, shuttle speeds, um, sort of going between sort of a quarter of a second and an eighth of a second. Um, I, think I'm, I think I'm preferring the eighth of a second. Now, speaking to uh, Ginger Cats about it, you just get a bit more detail in the water because uh, it's absolutely raging, as you can see. Uh, so this one works out any good, which I'm pretty sure it will. I'll pop it on the screen now. Great spot, Ginger Captors. Um, so, got that one in the bag. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Now I can start to really try and like, find some other compositions and just sort of, uh, yeah, refine them a bit. So, again, hope you can hear me okay, because the sound of the waterfall is absolutely raging. We can barely hear each other talking to each other, like next to each other. So, wow, what a place. So I've pumped further down now, about as low down as you can actually get before you've got a massive waterfall to your death. Um, and uh, again, using the same idea, putting the camera in landscape mode, but doing a, uh, a panoramic, a vertical panoramic. Um, quite like it here, because you've got a bit, coming down this low, you've got a bit of a sort of um, S curve up to the waterfall there. Um, I've extended the pano as well somewhat to include the sky and this overhang here. I feel that the, the uh, overhang here is kind of balancing against the, uh, the waterfall. Um, but by doing a panel, I've given myself options as well. If that panel doesn't turn out with that bit of sky and that overhang in, I can crop in and have a bit of a tighter image. But I've given myself two options there. What I'll probably start to do now, whip my way back up the waterfall um, and see if I can get some more sort of tighter, more intimate shots up there. But let me put this one on screen for you now. think of the t-shirt so it's me and my wife's uh, second wedding anniversary which is a cotton wedding anniversary I never knew that till recently and uh, yeah she got me this t this t well this t-shirt made up uh, with a nice stitch logo on it so uh, yeah really really pleased with that so thank you uh, to the wife um, yeah let me know what you think All right. The shots I've taken this morning have all been portrait. I've been determined to get, or try and at least get, a landscape shot. And I think I've got one. It might work, it might not. I'm not too sure. But basically, I'm just down here, right next to the water. And I've got the waterfall on the uh, sort of the, the right-hand third, sort of trying to balance it against this grassy patch up here and this boulder uh, here. And um, what, what I'll do to try and balance that is I might just try and brighten that rock up a little bit in post just to give it that little bit of balance. So hopefully this one works out. I think we're probably done for here now. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. Good to meet up with these guys as well. If you're not already, go and follow Ginger Captures, an optical creator. Very fantastic photographers, really nice guys, and they make fantastic videos. And uh, also, go and check out Big Daz as well. He's not on YouTube, but he is a fantastic photographer. He is on Instagram, he's on Facebook, so I'll put the links to, to that in the description below. But as I say, I think we're done. It's started raining now. I'm not sure how waterproof this new vlogging camera is, but it seems to be holding up so far. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this just as much as I have. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.